Good evening to all fans of quirky movies. Today's film is called Thunder Pants and it tells the story of a child who releases legendary gas. And it's not just a legend, these gases are so powerful that they can even power spacecraft. Let's watch and see. But first, hold your nose and get ready with your beautiful diffuser. The film begins with Smadge and his wife, who are with their daughter. Smadge's wife is giving birth to their second child, but it is a very difficult birth and she is in a lot of pain. All the doctors were trying to help her until she gave birth to the child, but it was not a natural birth. Instead, the child flew up in the air after he came out, and the doctor had to chase after him before he fell to the ground and got hurt. The doctor was able to catch him and hand him over to his mother and father, who named him Patrick. The doctor took a souvenir photo of them, but at that moment, Patrick let out very strong gases that caused problems for everyone who was present at the time. After that, they take him home, but they face very difficult days with their son Patrick because of his constant release of strong gases. Not to mention his very loud voice that was able to penetrate glass, and of course the terrible smell that they could not tolerate. His parents were always waking up at night to the sound of his gases, and they couldn't stand it. One day, his father tried to change Patrick's clothes, but he released rockets and his father fell back and hit the wall from the strength of the gases. His father stayed with him all night to change his clothes, which were a mess because of the gases. Not to mention the disturbance his father felt while sleeping next to him. Patrick's father wanted a solution to be able to sleep without being disturbed by his son's sound. He decided to tie a bag to Patrick's lower body to contain the gases that were coming out of him. The plan worked and the sound decreased, but the bag kept inflating until it suddenly burst and made a very loud sound that woke up his mother and all the neighbors in the city due to the gas explosion. Days went by and Patrick grew up, but his father continued to suffer from his gas problem. He came up with many ideas and solutions to try to relieve himself of his son's gas problem, but without success. Then, he came up with an idea to connect a hose from Patrick's window to the outside so that his gases could be expelled directly, and he could finally get some relief from them. However, the hose broke and hit Patrick's father in the face, who was hiding from his son because of his gases. All the gases then hit him in the face, and he had to go to the hospital because of what happened. After his father left the hospital, he always made excuses not to stay in the house when his son was there, and he couldn't bear what was happening. From then on, Patrick's mother did not love him because of what he did to the family. Even his sister, Denise, hated him and could not stand him because of what he did. Days went by until Patrick's first day of school, and he was very excited. He was happy that he would be able to harm someone new with his gases. Of course, when he was in class, he released a lot of gas, which made all the other students stay away from him except for one named Alan. Alan's problem in life was that he couldn't smell and didn't know how to differentiate between scents. That's why he didn't notice the bad odor that Patrick was causing. Since then, Patrick became Alan's only friend and they did everything together. As they grew up, they were always together and did everything together. However, Patrick was an outcast in school and was constantly bullied, especially by a boy named Demon. One day, there was an important activity at Patrick's school, and the teacher asked everyone to be quiet because there was an important guest coming. But Patrick couldn't control himself after trying hard to hold it in, and because he had bad gas, he let it all out on the students. This caused a big problem in the school, and everyone stayed away from him and he was expelled from school because of what he did. Patrick spent most of his time depressed in his room. He always felt like he wanted to be a space explorer and he constantly watched space vehicles flying above in space, which was his life's dream. One day, while Patrick was watching a space program, he heard a famous astronomer saying that the most important quality a space explorer should have is the ability to control themselves very well. Because Patrick couldn't control himself for two minutes, he became upset because he couldn't achieve his dream. Alan, Patrick's friend, wanted to be a scientist one day, and his goal in life was to create machines that could fly without gasoline and save the environment. Patrick knew that Alan loved inventions, so he asked Alan to invent a device that could control his gas so he could achieve his dream. Alan, being Patrick's friend, decided to create a device that could control Patrick's gas and collect it so they could use it for something else. Alan spent hours in his lab inventing what Patrick asked him to. While he was in the lab, Patrick sat in front of it eating everything he wanted and letting out gas when he got tired until Alan finished inventing the device. Later, Alan finished inventing a device that he named the Thunder Suit, which controlled Patrick's gas and collected it all in a box. When the box was full, they put it in the oven and got rid of all the gas. Since then, Patrick felt proud that he finally solved the big problem he had in his life, and he thanked Alan very much for helping him solve his problem. After that, Patrick returned home and found his sister eating white beans. He took the spoon from her and ate some, making his sister scared of what might happen but Patrick was able to eat comfortably because of the new device he had. 
On the second day at Patrick's school during activity time, he was sitting quietly without making any noise, which surprised his classmates because he was usually talkative. However, he passed the time without doing anything. Later, during the break, Patrick sat with his friend Alan, who asked him to discover his talent, since he had been preoccupied with gases and hadn't been thinking about anything else. Patrick replied that he saw a space explorer he admired on TV who said that everyone should have their own unique talent, and he wanted to discover his as soon as possible. Then, Damon arrived and asked to take the food box in Patrick's hand, but Patrick tried to explain to him that there was no food inside it. However, Damon opened the box and a green gas with a terrible smell came out. Damon got angry at Patrick and tied him up in front of all the children. Everyone gathered around him and tried to take away his gas mask, making fun of him and insulting him in front of all the students. Patrick was devastated. The next day, Patrick didn't go to school because of what had happened the day before. Alan went to his house and gave him a new thunder device to replace the one the students had broken. However, Patrick was depressed and didn't care whether he wore the device or not. He said that his dream of becoming a space explorer was gone and that he would continue to make gases, which was not a big deal. Alan suggested that if Patrick wanted to become a space explorer, he would need to lose weight and have a lot of stamina to pass all the tests required. He said that Patrick was overweight and needed to take care of his health. Later, two people were standing in front of Patrick's house, observing him and Alan. They had a lot of information about Patrick and Alan and were probably planning something evil. Patrick's mother was concerned about his son's life and finally decided to take him to the doctor. The doctor discovered that Patrick had two stomachs, which were the cause of all the gases he produced. Patrick was delighted to learn that he had two stomachs, even though he didn't benefit from them. He felt proud and believed that having two stomachs would make him special and maybe even qualify him to be a space explorer. Patrick went to see Alan to tell him about his condition, and Alan told him that he was participating in a competition for inventors. The competition was to invent a flying device that could travel 100 meters without using gasoline. Alan was thinking hard about how to create such a device. In the next scene, Patrick gets an idea when he realizes that Alan has two stomachs. He decides to take Alan's gas and use it in his flying device for the competition. On the day of the competition, the press is present at the venue, waiting for the big event where the inventors will showcase their devices. However, all their devices fail to fly and crash even before taking off. Then it's Patrick and Alan's turn, and Alan makes Patrick's gas fly the device. The plan works, and they successfully fly the device. But then the gas escapes from the device, causing everyone to suffocate from the dangerous smell. Alan fixes it, and they fly again, winning the competition. After that, Patrick and Alan win a lot of money. Patrick feels proud and happy, and he goes to see Damon at school. He runs after him in the forest and sprays his gas on him with full force. Damon regrets harassing Patrick for a moment and loses consciousness. From then on, he is forbidden from getting close to Patrick again. As Patrick returns home, he passes by Alan's house and sees Alan leaving with two men who were watching over him. Then Patrick quickly goes to Alan's father and asks him, where did Alan go? His father tells him that Alan has traveled to a faraway city and won't come back soon. Alan leaves a message for Patrick, wishing him good luck in his life. Patrick is very upset that his friend has left, and he returns home feeling sad and troubled about what to do without him. Later, he opens the astronaut program and learns that there is a team of astronauts stuck in space and unable to return to Earth. Then an opera singer comes to Patrick and asks him to help him with his performance experiments because his gas sounds the same as the layer he needs in his songs, and he cannot find a better one. The opera singer tries to tempt Patrick by telling him that they will travel to many countries together. Patrick reluctantly agrees to the journey, hoping that someday he will see his friend Alan again. Patrick takes his bag, and he and the opera singer travel around the world, hearing the sound of the rocket gas. Throughout this time, John, the opera singer, relies on Patrick, and they travel everywhere together. John trains Patrick every day to control his gas and produce the sound he needs. John rewards him with the food that Patrick likes to eat only after he achieves the desired sound. But one day, John's competitor visits him and sees Patrick there. At that point in the movie, the audience is able to discover the secret to John's success. Patrick is given a laxative to eat so that he won't be able to control his gas and ruin John's performance. Patrick then joins John for his performance, but because of the laxative, he lets out an enormous amount of gas uncontrollably, causing all of the glass in the room to shatter and the audience to be concerned and surprised by the loud noise. The spotlights also fall and break on the ground. The audience laughs at John and he becomes embarrassed, almost dying from the humiliation. John's competitor then comes on stage, takes Patrick, and reveals to everyone the secret to John's success. However, the competitor is unable to speak because a spotlight falls on him and kills him. 
The police then come and arrest John and Patrick, believing that they are responsible for the death of John's competitor. The people can't believe it and speak badly about Patrick, knowing him to be an evil murderer who also tried to kill Damon with his gas. Later on, as Patrick is being held, a large group of reporters come to interview him about what happened. Patrick tells them that he had nothing to do with the death of John's competitor and that he only agreed to work with John in the hopes of seeing his friend Alan again. At that time, Alan was watching television and saw Patrick's interview. He was moved by what he heard and decided to see him and bring him back. On the day of the verdict, Patrick is charged with murder and sentenced to death. However, before his execution, an agent from the United States arrives and tells them that he has an order to take Patrick with him. They release Patrick and he is overjoyed that he won't die. They then get in a car together and head to the client's location. These people were the same ones who had been watching Patrick and Alan for a while. Afterwards, they board a plane and head to America. When they arrive, Alan is thrilled to finally be reunited with Patrick. He tells him that he was requested by the astronauts in space to save them, due to having two stomachs, which will allow him to collect energy from his gas and double it with itself. Patrick is ecstatic to finally be working with the astronauts and Alan introduces him to his team of scientists who are all young children. They inform Patrick that they have invented a device that can collect energy from his gas and double it with itself. And here, this experiment would allow Patrick to go into space and save all the scientists who were there. Patrick is overjoyed at the thought of traveling to space. This is where he begins a very extensive training program to prepare him for his mission. However, despite his intelligence, Patrick fails all the tests. Nevertheless, they saw that Patrick alone could save the astronauts in space. After completing his training, he was fitted with a space suit to carry out his mission. Then, unexpectedly, the gases he emits turn into an enormous amount of energy. Then, the preparation is made for him to board the rocket that will take him into space. At this point, Alan realizes that the rocket may explode, but Patrick is determined to proceed with the mission. He boards the rocket and launches it, using a large number of gases. The experiment is successful and all the scientists are delighted. However, they lose contact with Patrick for a while, but they manage to get in touch with him again and he safely returns to Earth with all the astronauts he managed to save because of his outstanding gas skills, sponsored by the Haunch family. This is where the movie ends.